Hey guys, welcome back to Unboxed. So in this special little segment here, I'm going to be showing you some ceramic cats that my grandmother, Ruth, uh, collected in her life. Uh, this is her here. Uh, we called her Nanny, but her name was Ida Ruth, and uh, Ida Ruth Johnson, and then Ida Ruth Cockrell. And she was my, she's, she's my maternal grandmother um, my whole life, my blood grandmother. I say that because she was married before, and her and her husband got a divorce. Maybe I wanna say in the late 60s or so. But anyway, she was a hardworking woman. She raised um, her five kids, and her oldest daughter, Jane, helped raise those kids too when she had to work. She had a beauty salon for many years. Her, uh, My dad and my grandmother owned or have they had a beauty salon for a while, I want to say in the late 70s um, or mid 70s and it didn't work out. <laughs> they were both control freaks. But anyway, my grandmother Ruth sadly passed away the day before Thanksgiving, I think in 2018, a year before or a few months before my dad passed away. And they were really close, my, my dad's life when he met my mom, they were very close. So we actually lived next to them in East Texas for um, for a few years too, and then in the um, run 84 to 86. But so, uh, whenever my grandmother passed away, uh, my cousin Tara visited me um, maybe six, eight months ago, something like that. It's been a while, but she uh, brought me some of Nanny Ceramic Cats. <laughs> Had these cats on a um, sh on a like a display curio cabinet for many years, and she would add to it. And um, um, whenever she was started to get ill, um, she um, she started handing out these cats to her um, grandchildren and her children. And that was real sad to me because she was always very protective of her cats. You know, you had to polish them. You couldn't play with them. You, you had to ask her permission to take one off and look at it, you know. And so Tara brought me the leftover cats that people hadn't taken. So I know there's a lot of cats that aren't in this collection because she had hundreds. But this is what was left over in a, this box down here. Um, and I just want to show you what that box looks like right here. And I had it in my garage for the past few months. And... It's kind of sucky, you guys. I've had kind of a um, mite or a flea problem. I don't know what, I think it's mites because I can't see them for the past week. So I'm scared to bring this in here. But um, <laughs> I've done so much spraying and cleaning, I think anything that comes out will die. So I don't know if there's any insects in it or bugs, so I'm hoping not. So anyway, I just wanted to um, say, Nanny, this is for you. And I wanted to show everyone watching what you look like. She was a hard working woman and in the 60s and 70s she had the you know the big blonde hairdo, the beehive hairdo. She was really pretty as as she was toward the end of her life and um, the guys flocked to her, you know. <laughs> she had that kind of charisma and uh, um, but uh, and I learned a lot from her. I learned just kind of like the same things my dad taught me. They were actually pretty similar in some ways. She taught me the value of hard work and um, earning my keep and um, being spiritual, you know, believing in God. Growing up, I didn't. Later on in life, I found God my own. So um, anyway, so she taught me a lot of stuff. Uh, and I don't, I don't force it upon people. It's your own journey. Whatever you believe in is cool with me. As long as you're a good person, I'm good with it, you know. So anyway, let's get started. 
So there's lots of stuff in here I want to show you. Um, there's some big stuff on top and some plates as well. So it's not all ceramic cats. There's also some like cat dishes and plates. So let's get started. So the first one I'm going to pull out, I hope these are not too crazy, is this one here. I love this cat. Now I don't know what these are called. They might have information on the bottom. They do, but I, I'm, guys, I can't read it. Um, so anyway, if anyone watching knows what that says, let me know. It's so, so small. But I love this one. Look at that. And the cat has kind of green eyes, as you can see. I don't know if you can see that in the light, but very, very cute. I love that. What I want to do is get a shelf and display these because they're kind of like family heirlooms to me, you know. So what I'll probably do is set them aside and kind of polish them later and put them up somewhere. So the next thing I have is this. Now I don't know, I think this is a light that she may have had underneath um, some of her figurines. So we have a little display light there. Um, let's see here. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Here's a little cat candle, I think. That's what that is. I th maybe? Yeah, I think it is a candle. <laughs> Very cute. Little sleepy kitty. So I'm going to come up with names for these as I pull them so I can reference them later if I want to. Here's the little... Uh, I'll call this the New Mexico kitty because she looks like a lot of the stuff out here in New Mexico. I love that. It's kind of wooden, I guess. So we'll call that... We'll uh, call that kitty Mex. I like that. So let's see here. So another one we have here. Now I hope nothing crawls out of any of these. I'm scared. This is made in Taiwan. We have this big cat here. I think she had this up against a door to keep it open when I was young. And we would always knock it over running back and forth as kids, you know, as kids do. So we have this nice big porcelain kitty here. We'll call him, we'll call her Lucy. I think that's, that might be what she called her. I don't know, comes to mind for some reason. So the next thing we have in here, it, there's a lot of stuff in here. <clears throat> this cat here. <laughs> Look at that. That's so cute. I love that. Look at his little butt up in the air. With the tail. That's so that's so cute. Ooh, it needs to be cleaned out. I think there's a bird in there. <laughs> or no, that's a fish, I guess. Yeah, a fish. It's a fish bowl. So we'll call this one Samantha. So let's see here. So we got this thing here. Now, some of these are little keepsakes, I guess. Um, all that I am and all that I hope to be, I owe to my angel, my mom. Very cute. So, obviously, a gift one of her daughters gave her or one of her grandkids, maybe. So, not just cats in here, I guess. Let's see here. Got this one here. <laughs> we'll call this Felix. This is actually wooden. Very cute. I love that. Very, very nice. So there's some really nice pieces in here still. I know that kids took a lot of stuff, so, um, you know, grandkids too were, I think they got a lot of her smaller kittens. She had these little small porcelain kittens with, with pails of milk knocked over and it was all like porcelain. I think those are gone maybe. Here's one, we'll call him Frank. Very cool. Let's see. Okay, cool. We have a little um, Taos Church candle, I'll call this. Very, very neat. This looks like a lot of the stuff out here. Adobe. We actually have buildings that look like this here in Albuquerque. Um, I love this. I can't wait to display this stuff. Thanks, Nanny. We'll call that Taos Church. Okay, here's one here. We'll call this Oscar. This is wooden, by the way, not porcelain. Love that. Love the design on that. Very cute. Okay, going in further. Hey, she, she had a bunch of these little pieces around her house. Little, um, like, precious moments type things, I think this these are. Um, very cute. Again, I'm going to put them on the side so I can dust them later. We've got some things in tissue here inside this box. Now this isn't what I was talking about, this is a bigger one, but here's, here's some kitties with a pail of milk. 
We'll call this Jenny and John. Very cool. Now, if you like any of these guys, let me know down below. Re reference them by the names I'm giving them. This is Jenny and John. And I want to see which one um, some of you might say is your favorite. I'm curious to know which which one strike your fancy, you know. So we got another one wrapped here in tissue. I'm glad they're wrapped in tissue. I wonder how many broke. Ah, oh, cool. This is like a dog. Very neat. It's got a cool texture on it of shells. It's made of shells. We'll call this Shelly. Very cool. It's light, it's porcelain, but it's made of shells. Very, very cool. I didn't even, I um, had seen these probably around her houses. She lived in three or four houses in my life. I've seen them around, you know. So we got another little keepsake here. Um, it says Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Yes, somewhere she visited. It says natural onyx. Handcrafted natural onyx. Bacchio. $6.98. Very neat. I'm crazy like my grandmother. I like to collect or get little trinkets like that. I've given a lot away over the years, thankfully, because I don't have any room to display all this stuff. But I am going to display the cats on a specific shelf at some point. I think I need to do that. So there are a lot of display things in here, like these, that she would use, you know, to put things on. Whoops. Like, maybe pictures and things. Um, so that'll be cool. That'll come in handy, right? So let's keep going here. So I got another little precious moments type thing here. These all need to be clean. They're really dusty. But we'll call that precious moments too, I guess. Um, if anyone likes that. So here's another little kitty. We'll call this Emily. Porcelain. I love it. Oh, its tail came off. It looks like its tail is missing. Oh, that's sad. Let's see. Oh, and here it is. Here's the tail. So it looks like it was glued on at one point, so I can glue it back on. <laughs> Poor Lucy. Okay, we got another precious moment thing here. We'll call this Bobby, I guess. Little, little baby. Cute. Let's see. And let's see here. Oh, cool. We'll call this Meow Meow. It's like a little Japanese looking kitty or Chinese or something. I love it. Oh, and it lays on the side, I think. Yeah. Very neat. And let's see here. So. Okay. Here's. Oh, this is cute. With kitty in a cradle. This says um, S O H M I. I can't read it. Um, kitty cucumber, 1989. Schmo. Very cute. But we'll call this um, Andrea. We're gonna write her names in a minute. <coughs> so let's see here. Get some more stuff wrapped. So I have no idea what I'm going to uncover here, you guys. Oh, cool. So we got this little girl here in porcelain. Whoa. Everything's good. Everything's fine. Didn't damage anything. <laughs> so we'll call this uh, Cindy. Very cool. So i got to be careful with these. I'm kind of running out of room on the floor down here. So we got another one here. And we'll call this Ethel. It's like a woman with uh, cats cleaning or something. There's a bucket. Very cool. Call that Ethel. Let's see here. Okay. So moving on. Got another one here. Oh, cool. This is another, um, this says Priscilla on it. So we'll call this Priscilla. I think this is the same kitty cucumber. Yeah line or something. Priscilla. Cute. I wonder if the other one had a name on it too. I wonder. Let's see. 
It doesn't, but it, she probably has a name, right? You think. So moving on. So we got another one here. Oh, here's another one of those little Chinese kitties. So we'll call this Puss Puss. That goes with Meow Meow over here, I guess. Very cool. Now there might be some sets in here for all I know. I have no idea. Um, here's a little, oh cool. This is a little, um, it says, um, Lyle's Creations, Gatesville, Texas. Little painted rock kitty. We'll call this um, Lyle. L-Y-E-L-L. -L. Very cute. And let's see, I'm hoping there's something broken in here. It's gonna really stress me out if it is, you know. So we got some that are wrapped in um, bubble wrap. Oh, I remember this one. Very cute. So these lay on a table and they're flat on the bottom. Now this says, um, uh, looks like Japan. Uh, it says Raj, I guess. I can barely read that. Very cool. Love it. So we'll call this Peter, I guess. And then we got, oh, cute. This is another one of those kitty cucumber things. There's no name on this one. It's on a horse, though. We'll call this Rocky. Here's Rocky. These are all porcelain. Very cute. Okay. Moving on. Here's another little wooden kitty. Oh, very cool. Oh, we'll call this Felix, I guess. Felix. And let's see. Oh, I might need to do a part two on this. There's so much in here. Here's another kitty here. Looks like another Raj from uh, Japan. We'll call this one, um, I think the other one I called Felix, maybe? I'll call this one Nutty. I don't know why. <laughs> Nutty. Very cute. Okay, let's see here. So we got a lot more in here. Let's see. Oh, wow. We got a glass dog in here that was wrapped. Very cool. I'll call this uh, Bow Wow, I guess. Very neat. I love it. It's a really heavy glass. <coughs> Let's see here. So it looks like the glass figurine had this little plate with it. That he, I guess he maybe sat on. I don't know. If it's even part of it. Maybe it's part of something else. Let's see. Oh, cool. We got Santa Claus with a bunch of kitties. I'll call this Santa. Very cute. Looks like whatever was in the bottom is gone now, but very, very cute. This is porcelain as well. Oh, this one's really cool. I like that one a lot. Santa. Okay, moving on. Um, oh, neat. Made in China. <laughs> this is wooden. Very cute. They'll call this... Uh, Cowbell? I have no idea. It's wooden, like I said. Made in China. Ohio Wholesale, Seville, Ohio. My grandmother traveled a lot, so she she had a, she had a lot of stuff from all over, right? Oh, and here's a little teacup, and this obviously goes on our little dish here. Very cute. It's a little set. We'll call that dish. Let's see. Uh, let's see here. God, I hope I don't come across any roaches in here. So far, so good. Ah, crazy looking. So we'll. <laughs> Let's see, this is Walmart 894. Um, bunch of kitties in a bed, and it's porcelain. We'll call this uh, bed knobs, I guess. Kinda hard to see all the details because of the light. Very cool. I'm gonna have to stop this a minute. My dogs need to go out of the bathroom. They're not happy, I can tell. I just got back from the gym, and so they're restless. Oh, cool, here's another part of it. It's also from Walmart. Looks like a dog and the kitty in the bed. 
So we'll just consider this part of the same thing. Doorknobs. Very cute. It's very, very heavy. High quality. Let's see here. Okay. So we got one here. It says, love is the perfect gift. I love cats. This is a lot in the bottom. It's precious moments. Precious moments together collection. It's numbered from the ASPCA. Very cool. We'll call this um, Joan after my one of my grandmother's daughters. Very cool. Very heavy. Very high quality and very heavy. So let's see here. Okay. So we got. Um, looks like we got one another. Um, one here. I can't read the bottom. It's too little. But it looks like we got another one of those little Japanese looking porcelain things. We'll call this Beatrice. Okay, this was down here too. I don't know what this is. Is it maybe a platform for one of these guys? Let's see here. Okay. Moving on. We got a lot of plates to get to down here. Okay, we got this one here. Um, it says, oh, it's another language. Axel. Oh, wow. Loretta. Looks like it's from Italy. So we'll call this Italy. I might be wrong. Very cute. There's a little thing here. I can't read another language. Okay. Moving on. We got, oh, cool. Made in Japan. We'll call this um, Kitty Boot. Very cool. More like that. Let's see. I told you there was a lot. We got more display stands. So we do have some more of the cats that she had. The little Chinese looking ones. Here's another one. Call this Moo Moo. Let's set down there starting. Oh, I remember this one. Very cool. We'll call this Bucket. This is porcelain and metal. It's very cool. I love that. You have to set these up somewhere. They're, 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 too, they're too cute. I told you guys, she had a lot. She had way more than this. It's all gone. So. Um, so here's another bucket. This is $5.99 on it. It's maybe part of the set, maybe. We'll call this a uh, mouse. Let's see. Okay, got some more wrap stuff here. Let's see here. Oh, okay. So we got one here. We'll call this Bonnet. Oh, it says Priscilla down there. I think that's the company. I've seen a few of those. We'll call this Bonnet though. Very cool. And we got another one here. Um, oh wow, this also says Kitty Cucumber. Um, call this Penelope. <laughs> There's so many of these, guys. Insane. Let's see. But, you know, if I didn't keep these, they were going to give them to a thrift store, and I was like, no, bring them down here. For me, you know? I do not want any stuff to go into the thrift store for free. You know? Keep it in the family. Here's another one. Um, it says Miss January. We'll call it Miss January. Real. Um, this, these probably went with some of the other pieces as a motif, right? So, oh, this is Capri. Very cool. We'll call this Capri. The boat. Very neat. I like that. Now, these are very delicate, I can tell, so I'm going to keep them wrapped as much as I can. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Getting down to the China finally here in a minute. I do have a few more, though, to get to. Um, here's one here. I'll call this Barbara. Let's see here. Um, here's another one here, wooden. We'll call this sassy. <laughs> I think that bow is pretty sassy. What do you think? That That's wood, by the way. So I do have some plates to get to, but I'm trying to get to all the cats first because there's a lot of plates I'm going to go through to show you really quickly. So here's some more cats. Um, we'll call this um, Brandon. I have no idea. And we got another one here. And um, there is a, a marking on it. It says 
Norcrest. So we'll call this Norcrest. Very cute. Porcelain. So keep going here. I'm running out of room <laughs> down here by the chair. You put these away really carefully. So, okay. There's a bunch more of these things in here, like a lot, to display these plates. And my grandmother had a lot of plates. I remember she used to, she used to keep these around her house. We gotta be careful. She used to keep these around her house, I remember. A lot of plates. And these are all like kitty plates, right? And um, frisky business. Oh, they're, they're like numbered, which is very cool. So I won't show you all the information on the back of these, but because there's so many to go through. Frisky Business, Kitchen Capers. We've got, um, oh, it's some other language. Von Wolfgang Kaiser. I can't even read that. If any of you know German, let me know what that says, if you can read it. We've got um, oh, another German. Can't read it. Spielplatz Geimschebeet. Can't read that either. Wow. These are all numbered, you guys. Probably worth a lot of money. I don't know. I'll probably never sell them, though. Happy Tales. Litter Rascals, it said. <laughs> My grandmother's crazy. Pussy Footing Around. Another one here that's in German. Flutterei M. Steingarten. Oh, I didn't know she had all these. This is crazy. So many. So let's keep going. Got another one here. Um, I can't read that. It's in German. And we got another one here. In German. Unter Auschwitz. Uh, let's see. Making music. I think, I remember she had these displayed maybe at one point on their own cabinet, I think. Okay, we're almost down to the bottom here. Okay, we got a steady break. And we got, oops, wasn't a bug, just dirt. Um, oh, I can't really read that. 1983. Very cool. I'm not even going to try, I'll murder it, you know. Uh, let's see here. So we got a couple more things down here. Here's something from Disneyland. It looks like a Mickey from Disneyland. It's probably like a, a uh, there's no date on. It's probably pretty old. If you guys have any of these, your family did, let me know if you know what they are. Um, here's another one here. We'll call that pumpkin, I guess. It looks like a pumpkin or a gourd of some kind. It's porcelain. Okay. So glad none of this stuff broke. So moving on here. Um, okay. There is... Now I do have a tail here. It looks like it goes to something. I pulled out maybe a wooden tail. So I'll make sure to keep that. Here's a little... Looks like... Um, um, Norcrest. Looks like a yarn salt or pepper shaker. I wonder if there's another one though. Let's see. So we got some more kitties to actually go through. I promise you guys, I'm almost done. Oh wow. It's crazy looking. So this this may have been part of something that moved. I don't know. See it's got this thing on the bottom. I have no idea what that oh never mind. Maybe it winds up or something? Oh, I think it winds up and you set it. And you crank it. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Cute. We'll call this ribbons, I guess. It's got a little... Um, it's got music to it. Very cool. So, let's see here. I got two more little bunches to get through, then we'll be done. So we got another one here. Looks like it's the, the Raj thing again. We'll call this Peanut. And we got a really 
cute one here. Oh wow, we'll call this Sophie. I like that one. Very 60s looking. My grandmother was pretty 60s. That was her heyday, I think. When she owned her salon and she had guys chasing after her, I think, after she divorced my uh, biological grandfather, Leonard, who I only met a few times in my life. He was in the service. He passed away. Um, she pa uh, he passed away before she did, right before she did. I only saw him a few times in my life. He had another family. He had this wife named Dean who passed away, and then he got with another one, I think. You hardly ever saw him. But I, I, I realized a few years ago, I started going, after COVID started, my dad passed, started getting a bald spot. And I always thought my whole life I would have a full head of hair. And one of my friends at school told me, who's into DNA, a scientist, years ago, she said, oh, men get their hair DNA or their hair growth patterns from their mother's dad. And I was like, oh, great, Leonard was bald. So I've got, I'm getting a little freaking bald spot. Thanks, Leonard. The only thing I really got from him my whole life. <laughs> that and the bad teeth, probably. Um, so we got one here, called this chipmunk. Very cool. We got another one here. Oh, wow, I love that. Very, very cool. We'll call this moon face. I love that. That's neat. That porcelain, too. And we got another one here. Um, cool. Call this um, Nut after my mother. Her 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 nickname is Nut. Her middle name is Jeanette. So and this one is Nut. Very cool. So moving right along here. Um, maybe we got another little cute one here. We'll call this Joel after my grandmother's son Joel. My uncle my uncle Joel, who I think is in his sixties now, maybe. Uh, he worked at Walmart, or I'm sorry, he worked at Kmart in the mid to late 80s, and I used to go in there, I talk about him on my story time series, I used to go to Kmart, he was in there in the shoe area. He looked kind of like Tom Denver, I think it was, was that his name, Tom Denver, the musician, but he had dark hair, Leonard did, I wasn't very close to him, um, he was a milkman for a long time, he might still be. Um, here's one here. It's just two dollars on the bottom. We'll call this Tudor. My grandmother had a niece she called Tudor, I think. Like, like, um, T U T O R. Um, here's another one here from Norcrest. We'll call this Jenny. Okay, and guys, I think that might be it. Let me just make sure. It is it. Woo, that was a lot to go through. Damn. So let me know what you think, which ones of these you liked. There were so many, um, you know, that I went through. Um, it's, it's hard, you know, it's hard to say which one I like. I'm gonna have to say my favorite's probably that, that seashell kitty, which I showed you, which is down here. And I, I mean, there's so much down here, I can't get to them right now. Anna? No. And I also liked the dog, actually. Very cool. This is a heavy glass dog. I love this one. Um, and, yeah, there, there's, there's just so many. So let me know, guys, which ones that, that you liked. Um, let me see if I can get... Oh, here it is. Let me see if I can get to the one I was telling you about. I love this seashell dog. It's so, it's so cool. I know it's not a cat, but uh, my grandmother was also an artist here's the music box one again my grandmother was also an artist and she did some paintings and I've got them around here you may have seen them in my videos but I'll talk about that later because I'm running out of time and I know this is long but I wanted to say Nanny I hope you enjoyed our unboxing of your kitty goodies that are left over um, there was a lot more you guys that's gone at least a few hundred more pieces I got kind of the leftovers, but they were still amazing, weren't they? I'm glad I got that before we got taken away and put in a thrift store or a dumpster. So. And I appreciate also my cousin Tara for bringing them to me. It means the world to me. So thank you, Nanny, for all you taught me in your life. And we miss you dearly and love you. And thank you guys so much for watching. 
get your copy on. Comment, like, subscribe. Let me know down below what you liked, okay? Or you didn't like or whatever, all right? Have a good one. We'll see you next time. Bye.